What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on the Musa playthrough, the power leveling playthrough. So we're going to be going over, um, we are in the Swamp Foggins area. I'll show it on the map in a second. We're going to be moving around here. We're not going to be just doing this area of the Swamp Foggins, but this is one of my favorite farm areas in the entire game. I say one of them because I do like the... I do like the catfish men. They're really clustered. I really like farming them. But as you can see, we're already at 33% of a level. Okay, I guess we gotta kill this dude. Get out of here. Okay. So on the map, for a while here, we're gonna farm this area down here. The, uh, the wetlands area. You can see there's the water there. And then potentially we'll go up here and farm this. And then depending on how long that takes, we're going to go to the Bloody Monastery, which, let's see here, have to find it on the map, is right here. It doesn't have a location, but it's just south of our good old Swamp Foggins. Now, according to the game, you should be fighting Swamp Foggins from 21 to 24, but uh, we're, we're doing it a little bit different. Uh, but we will be going to the Bloody Monastery afterwards, but we're doing this first. You can go over and do the, um, let's see if I can get this really quick. You can go over here and do the Swamp Nagas, but I prefer the Foggins. I, I think they, they're just a better source of, of e EXP. And remember, we're looking to get as much uh, money as possible so that we can upgrade our gear. I'm going to have to be on top of my heels because we are slightly underleveled, like I said. They consider these enemies a little bit too hard for us, but I think we can handle them. I do have to keep an eye on when potentially we're going to need to go buy more potions. One of the good things about this area is that you can kite them if you want. There, this isn't as thick of an area to kite, but as you can see, we attracted a lot of dudes here. But they're real quick to aggro, and it's really nice. You can get big chains if you want. Gotta be a little bit careful here. Got my, ran my health a little bit low. Try to clean out the ones that I already had damage on. I need to work on my um, speed at which I... Oh, we got a violent one. Okay, gotta be a little bit careful here. Clear out the one around him. Dash out, heal. Clear out that one. I dash out. Dash back in. Try to attract it. There we go. Cleared him out. It's always decent rewards killing the violent ones, but uh, they do present a little bit tougher of a risk. About to hit level 20. They're kind of what I'm worried about in this area. I'm not really worried about dying to the regular Foggins. I mean, obviously, yes, I can die to them, but they're not what concerns me. I think we need to deal with our skills. So once I complete a revolution of this, I'll go over my skills. But you can see all the different Foggins here that we can attract. Hello, everybody. And here they all come. Clear them out. Give myself a little bit of space. Dash back in there. And the lookouts are like the most annoying part about this. Because they're just nailing you with arrows while you're trying to clear out just the regular old enemies that you want to be farming. And they do a decent amount of damage with these arrows. Like... It's not a minuscule amount of damage for the arrows. They're kind of, it's kind of high. They're, they're like the real damage dealers in this area. But one of the great things about this area is the rate at which stuff respawns. Do that. Let's go ahead and run around here, grab a couple. So there's not that many enemies. And their tracking is really good. Um, they don't give up very quickly. Which is a really nice 
be careful here. I got myself like triple hit there. There you out. Gotta make sure and keep an eye on my health. I think we're fine, but I do have to keep an eye on it. Alright, let's take a look. Let's go. Let's go over here. Try to attract a few more. Let's go up to the hill over here. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I just wanted the right trigger. Okay. I should probably take a look at my skills and try to get those up. So let's go. Let's dash over here and we'll take a look at our skills. We're halfway to 21 already. Which is nice. Just been about five minutes. Hopefully nobody's going to bother us here. So, let's see. Alright, uh, what did I get hit by an archer? Alright, let me dash out of here real quick. Let me go up here towards Glish. Get myself a little bit clear. Uh, you guys really going to keep following? Okay, you're really going to make me go all the way up to Glish, really. Okay. Fine, I will go all the way... Oh, this isn't Glish, but this should be safe right here. I think. Should be safe. Okay. I have been using the kicks a little bit on this character, so I think those might be decent pickups, but they are kind of... Eh, they're not too bad. I'm going to pick them up. I'm going to pick up the kicks. Musa Spirit. This is recovery. I'm going to pick up... Really? Really? Get out of here. I'm going to pick up Dragon Bite 2. Um... We have 24. I'm going to pick up the sword trainings. Um, I like the backstep slash, but I haven't been using it. I'm thinking I'm gonna pick up these two skills: blunt kick and carver two, and then I'm also gonna pick up whirlwind cut. So that's gonna be it for that. I guess we can grab that real quick too as well. And now we can get back out here. Oh look, I got the mudsters to rank A. Okay, so real quick before we hit the over leveled portion, let's go over to the swamp nagas. Because then I can at least level a little bit on those. We can give a little bit of variety as I get hit with the... Really, I get hit with the slow sh stuff. Where is this taking me? This is taking me like the longest, weirdest route ever. Alright, just auto-path auto me there. Alright. So not bad. We got... It's an armor stone. Um, probably looking at a couple hundred thousand dollars. So that's that's nice. We can probably pick up some... Our issue right now is we don't have any boots or gauntlets. Before we go to... Blo Before we bloody monastery it, I'm gonna go... We'll go to Glish. Let's go back to the world map. We'll go to Glish here. And I believe they should have... Oh, they don't. They don't have a central market. I gotta go back to Hydel. Um, there might be just a regular armor vendor in Glish where I can pick up some boots and, a, and some gloves. It's really all I need. I mean, obviously we're gonna need to upgrade sword and bow eventually, but right now we're fine with 52 AP. I gotta go get that back. All right, so right up here, we've got our good little Swamp Foggins. So I'm going to unselect. Can I unselect? There we go. All right. Now we can go try. We can do some Swamp Naga farming. Why are these guys red? Is it night? Oh, it's night. Okay, so we're getting boosted experience now, which is nice. And, like, they're just... They're, they're not as quite as good as the um 
Swamp Foggins. I mean, obviously, I kill them in, like, one or two hits. They're a little bit faster to kill. But they're not as good as the the Swamp uh, Foggins because they give less... They give less experience. And they're not as clustered, nor do they aggro quite as quickly as the other guys. So that's my only issue with them. They're not bad to farm. They're just a little bit slower to aggro. They don't give quite as much experience. And that's my only issue. And they're kind of a little bit more spread out. Yo, clear that. And that was that was a nice group right there. We got to 21. Um, let's see here. So they're still giving about a percent and a half. So we'll stay here for another level or so, and then we'll go back. Like I said, it's not like I hate this these guys all that much. I just I just feel like the other options that you have are just slightly better. They're just a little bit better. Because they're a little bit more clustered up. These guys are a little bit more spread out. So you're killing like one at a time. And I mean truly at this point of the game. You know anything is pretty good for experience. You level up really fast at the beginning. But as you can see me and this other guy that are here. We cleared out a lot of them already. Now they're on respawn. If I get to a point where they have to respawn we're leaving. But I don't think we will have to. I didn't have Swamp Nagas to A. Let's go back over here. Thought that kick would draw me close enough to that guy. Um, let's go. Let's go this way. Kill this. Ass. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I guess I'm not killing that acid spider. What? Oh, I attracted these guys. Nice. Already at 47% to 22. We'll definitely probably be able to go to Bloody Monastery. But I'm going to have to go back to Hydel probably, and get gear. Which is tragic. I thought Glish would have a central market, but I guess not. But yeah, this is where it gets kind of bad to farm the Swamp Nagas, because... They're so thin now because there's two of us farming them here. Well, I don't have the... What? This Axeman is invincible. What? My dude literally was like... He took like five hits. It's pretty, it's pretty dead over here in Swamp Naga land already. Uh, they kind of respawned over there. Yo. You can see a... I think it's a striker over there. Really... F he got the big group that spawns over there. While well, I'm picking off the peasant nagas. Around the outside all by themselves. Oh, what the heck? Why is this Swamp Nugget so strong? There we go. Okay, we're 86%. I don't want to stay here past 22. 91%. Well, I'm going to end up staying here past 22 because... I found some on the respawn. Come here, little buddies. The one's behind me. There we go. That, eh, no, there's a decent chunk over here. Might as well clean them up. Then we'll go back to the Foggins. I missed, I missed that attack on the one behind. 
See, this is what you want here. There's like a nice little circle that you can get, but there has to be no one else here. If there's people here with you, it messes the circle up because they don't respawn on time. They're just a little bit too slow respawning if there are other people here. But those other guys I left, or... I actually, I didn't leave. I don't know what they're doing. But they're like out of the main circle, which is good. But I think we're pretty much done with this. Slice you up. We'll get these three. And let's head back to the Swamp Foggins. We'll go up here. Check this area out up here. Give a little bit of a variety on... Ooh, hold on. Hello, everybody. Come and get it. That's too many guys just clumped up together for me to pass that up. That was like 10% experience right there. It's so hard to pull yourself away from areas when, like, they're just spawning right in front of you in clumps. But let's go up here. Kill an acid spider. I'm going to run up to the top of this hill and then stop and look back and see... Yeah, we got a few following us. Let's kill them. I always like to turn around before I just sprint out of an area because a lot of times you'll have some following you like that and you can get a decent little chunk of experience like that. Like, I think that probably got me like 7 or 8% experience just by get, taking a second to turn around and look. All right, so this is one of the... I don't know. I, I like over here. This is a decent spot for Swamp Nagas. They gather a little bit more clustered. It's not it's not like the Swamp Foggins, but it's still decently clustered. But we'll go over this. There's a lot of these stupid tentacle things. Which I don't even... Eh, they give a, a teeny bit of experience. But they make it hard to map on this part because they show up as enemies and they don't show up any different. So it makes it kind of hard to tell where you want to go. I mean, this is where you want to go is over here because there's literally all of these dudes. Hey, everybody, can we cluster up here? Come on. Come on. Do you really not see me? Come on. Let's go. Let's see here. Will this get me to 23? Is that enough enemies? Well, some of them ran away, so... Thanks for ruining my experience, guys. Or my ex experiment, guys. Look, why'd you run back over here? Come here. Come here. Let's go. All of you, come on. All of you, come here. We'll come back to these guys. Well, okay, let's go. Well, this will definitely be 23. This is probably my favorite Swamp Naga, but the other one's really good too. I, I don't want to say I like this one more because the other one is a little bit more circleized. It's it's really easy to work that circle. And if no one's there, I think it's better than this one. But if there's people there, like there was, and there's no one here, this area is clearly better because they're easier to chain together here and get a bunch of them to follow you. What am I getting hit by? Come here, buddy. Twenty-three percent already. Let's go over here. This is pretty much all you want to do. You just want to work this area, which is nice. I think I'm gonna rotate all the way around to give him a chance to respawn. See, this is the one thing I don't like. Is now, the, there's not really a circle. What am I stuck on? There's not really a circle here. So what it ends up being is you're kind of just like... You're doing like this awkward rotation around the outside. You're like doing this awkward rotation where there's no one here to kill. Like there's this one Swamp Naga here. Kill him. 
And then you come back over here. What is this person doing? Okay, so now we can, they've respawned, we can kite them back up here. Clean these guys up. Guess we won't get to the bloody monastery this episode. So we're not, we're not, we're not 24 yet. And I want to get 24 in a little bit farther. I'll probably, I might go to 25 here. Alright, let's get over here now. Hello, everybody. Come on, let's, let's kite up here. That includes all of you guys. All those guys turn around. Have all these guys following. Go. Hello, everybody. Let me kill you so we can attract more enemies. Hello, everybody. Almost twenty four. Go. Wow. <laughs> Need one more kill. Come here. And there's the 20, there's the level 24, which is nice. I think I'd like to get to 25 because there's a reward for 25 for the new characters. But I don't, eh, the experience is kind of meh. That experience is really meh. Let's see. We'll do one more rotation of it and then I'll decide. I'll see how much we get. If we get to like 40, high for I keep standing in front of this treasure chest. Keep getting stuck on that. If um, if we get to like 48% or whatever, I will, I will run it again. But if not, I'm not going to run it again. Because it kind of all depends on, kind of all depends on that. So we're at 7% right now. They might give just enough. They might give me just enough experience. Hello, everybody. Let's go over here and get these guys. We haven't been get. Oh, we should go over there because I haven't been killing any of those guys. I need to kill these guys before that person comes over and tries to steal them. I'm going to go over here real quick because we haven't gone over here yet. This is a decent spot, too. It's kind of a dead end, which is why I don't really go here because it doesn't complete a circle. And I don't know, I'm all about completing my circles. Hello, everybody. Eh, we might we might be able to get 25. Yeah, we're gonna be able to get 25. I mean I guess so. There is a I know what route I should, but actually I, I've tried this before. I know why it doesn't work. They just don't respawn so what I was thinking is you can go from here, you can go through that gate, the path that we were taking, and then come here. Like, um, like you start there, like, I don't know, it's like over my thumb, my finger's too high. Like, over this way. And, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to point at. But you start over here, I'll go over here. You start over here, and you clear these guys out. And then you go around, and you go around to the area that we have been farming. This is like super confusing to explain. These guys out. You go over here, and unless they sped it up, because before they weren't respawning fast enough for me to do this. So try to attract as many of them as possible. Now go back. Hey, 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 gentlemen. Come back here. All right, let's just kill the ones that are following me already. Whatever. Did I kill everyone? Yeah, I did. All right, let's go ahead and train up these guys real quick. I might be killing a little bit slower than I was on my other character when I was doing this. Which is kind of crazy, because I'm killing really quick. 
but that might be why it felt like they weren't respawning fast enough. There's 80%. up. Rotate around here. Yeah, I guess they respawn fast enough now for me. I just remember them not respawning fast enough, which is why I never ran that circle of coming over here and then going back to the initial spot. These guys don't train as well. I say that and then here, here they all come. There's 25. There's what I really wanted. What did it give me? They still give pretty good experience. Each kill's like... He's got to kill like 100 of them, and it's... Not bad. Get to 26. But we want to go to Bloody Monastery. It's the better location now. Um, I'll go ahead and... Let's, uh, let's see here. What are we at? We're at 26 minutes. Let's take a look at my world map here. Alright, so Bloody Monastery is down here. I'm going to go back to Hydel and complete some sales of items and get some new gear. I'll update you guys on that at the Bloody Monastery to start the next episode because I don't think in either episode do we want to watch me run <laughs> around to get the upgrade. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys in the Bloody Monastery episode. Peace.